Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've been doing nail art for about three years now and in that time I've done hundreds if not thousands of nail art designs but this design is probably the favourite that I've done so far. So let's get to the tutorial so that you can get this design on your nails too. Now since we're going to be using a blue polish for base colour and blue polishes are infamous for staining nails, I've already applied a base coat to my nail. Now this polish that I'm using hasn't stained my nails, but you can never be 100% sure when you're using a blue polish, so if you're also going to be doing a blue base, then I definitely recommend using a base coat. Using a small dotting tool and a white polish, apply polka dots to the entire nail. Now if you don't own any dotting tools, a toothpick or a ballpoint pen make good alternatives. Now can we just take a minute to appreciate how cute polka dots look on nails? I wore these dotted nails for almost a whole day before I added the roses because I'm a polka dot addict. Okay, so time for the roses. Now using a nail art brush and a pale pink polish, apply some rounded rose-like shapes over the nail in various places. Then with the medium pink and the same brush, messily apply the polish on top of the pink to give the roses some depth. Take a thin nail art brush and a bright pink polish and add some bright highlights over the roses. Now the trick to getting more realistic looking roses is a lot of light and thin layers in different colours, so you can skip this step if you want, but your roses are going to look a lot more two dimensional. Finally take a dark pink polish and the same thin nail art brush and define the rose petals by painting a dark centre on the rose and then fan the lines out. Also, if you aren't confident painting directly onto your nail, watch till the end of the video to see a great nail art hack that I use on my right hand. For the leaves, take a light green and the thin nail art brush and then draw small lines out from behind the roses, being careful not to add too many. Using the medium bright green, add some over the pastel green to give the leaves the same depth that you did the roses. Again, you can skip this step if you want the roses to look two dimensional. dark green outlines onto the leaves to finish them off. Once the polish is dry, apply a top coat softly to avoid smudging. Now I didn't wait long enough or I pressed the brush down too hard on the nail or I got some bad karma back because I smudged the roses all down the blue part of the nail. Here is the photo evidence. And because I'm such a perfectionist, I ended up redoing the entire nail. <sighs> Now I hear you asking, but Gemma, that's a lot of detail work and my left hand, for us right-handers, or my right hand, for the lefties out there, couldn't draw a square if I needed it to. But don't worry, I have the answer. Just make decals. Now unfortunately it's not going to help with painting your non-dominant hand with the base and the polka dots. You're on your own for that one, but it will help with the roses. Also, if you're not confident painting detail on the nails, even with your dominant hand, it's also a really nifty trick you're going to need either a silicon nail art mat, like this one, or if you don't own one yet, a plastic sandwich bag will work too. Using the polishes that I used earlier, paint the roses directly onto the mat or the plastic bag. Now it's a lot easier to work on a flat surface for beginners, and if you mess up, you can just paint another rose to use. Cover the completed rose with a thin coat of clear nail polish to thicken the decal up a little to help with the removal. Now it's important not to use a quick dry top coat as they don't have the flex that clear nail polish has and you may end up breaking your decal so just stick to the clear nail polish. Once the decal has dried, it usually takes between 5 and 10 minutes, lift one side of it up with your nail making sure to lift both the rose and the leaves part so that you don't tear it in half and then use the tweezers to slowly and gently lift the decal off the mat completely. Add a tiny bit of clear nail polish to the nail where you want the rose to stick and then gently place the decal onto the polish. Now if you put it on wrong you can quickly lift it and reposition it on the nail but be sure to move quickly or you're going to end up tearing the decal. Use your finger to press down on the decal to secure it completely onto the nail and then with a small clean up brush and nail polish remover tidy up the edge of the nail. This step also totally secures the edge of the decal onto the edge of the nail polish underneath it. Repeat the process for all of the roses until you're happy with how the nail looks. Apply 
my top coat over the entire nail to seal all of the decals down onto the nail and this time it can be a quick dry top coat. As you can see the shiny decal now looks exactly like the hand painted nail with the matte top coat next to it. It's just a great hack to use to get both of your hands to look the same. Now I personally prefer this design matte so I added my favourite matte top coat onto the nail. I'll list that as well as all of the other polishes that I use down below in the description box for you guys. And this is the final result, a vintage rose design that looks like it belongs on a teacup. Well that's what I think anyway. Of course you can wear them matte or shiny, they look amazing either way, it's just totally up to you, your personal preference and also the polishes that you own. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed filming it for you guys and if you did then please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos.